Hey friends, today I am at Hollywood Studios and they are playing Christmas music. I am so excited. Let's go do this. Take a look at all the Christmas decorations out here already. This is gonna be a great day. It is also the second day that they allowed people to join boarding groups at 7 a.m. from their home. And uh, we kind of tested that out and uh, some friends added it for me. Oh boy, you know Hollywood Studios became my second favorite park during Christmas time. They've really stepped it up over the years. I'm sure they can't go all out like they have the past two, but still the decorations have been on point. Absolutely amazing. I'm already getting emotional, like I really am. Christmas really does something to me there, friends. I gotta tell you now. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to get to Magic Kingdom, but this is just as good. Oh. <sighs> I'm just staring at them all. I'm really, uh, I get a little giddy-ish. <laughs> and my favorite part of Christmas here at Hollywood Studios is over by Echo Lake. That's where they have the actual tree and they have the ornaments in the water and then this old, old style like Christmas decorations. This is so great. Look at St. Nicholas right there. Oh boy, guys. I just want to see this lit up. Oh, this is, this is what I'm talking about. My plans were kind of indecisive today when I got here. I didn't know how long I was going to end up staying here. But now that I see that tree, we're staying through it because I cannot wait to see it get lit. I cannot wait to see all of the Christmas lights. It's just so amazing. The best part of it all though, it looks like Hollywood Studios didn't lose any of its Christmas decorations. Like I know that they uh, didn't do as much for Halloween this year, but this looks like just about all the same amount of Christmas decorations they would normally have. Maybe they won't have the special entertainment and stuff, but this is just as good for me. I'm happy. I am so happy with this. We will definitely be spending a lot more time concentrating on the Christmas at Hollywood Studios. Now I want to go meet up with my friends who actually got me the Rise of the Resistance boarding group because they woke up at 7 a.m. I had a reservation. They all had reservations. So they just selected all in the party and bada bing bada boom. And I suppose a good place to go meet up before we do Rise of the Resistance is at our favorite canteen with our favorite DJ. I was supposed to meet them at Olga's Canteen, but there they are. There are my friends who got me the boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. I was just playing. Here's my friends. Jackie, super enthused. Vincent, Vincent Vision. Oh, you are Chewie and you're Ray. Traveler, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, we're going in here. Oh, the party has begun. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and get the Gamorian Ale, which is a red ale, and then also some Batu Bites. I absolutely love those. So we're going to have a little time hanging out here before we actually hit up Rise of the Resistance. I like it. Oh. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, thank you. That's the stuff. Stuff, guys. We got the Gamorian Red Ale. Look how red it is. Oh, it's very red. And then the Whomping Ale. White Wampa. The, the Whomping Willow? Yes. To the resistance. To the resistance. From home early in the day. There comes the Batu Bites. Look at that charcuterie. I have gotten the charcuterie before and it is delicious. Oh. I've never gotten the bites though. So. Here is the food for this evening. Vincent got the sampler. Very, very, very fancy, I would have to say. Roasted Spam. Roasted Spam. I like it. Pretty good. The best thing about the Batu Bits, which I've said wrong, I call it Batu Bites, Batu Boots, and ultimately it's Batu Bits, is everything has a different taste and texture. All those different pieces are all different flavors and different textures. So it makes it really interesting.
Our boarding group is called, so we gotta head out. But head out in style here. Bye. So we were boarding group number 59. Were we 59, guys? Yes. And it is 2.20. Uh, so that just gives you kind of a thought. Uh, the park opened at 10. So in uh, four hours, they are at uh, boarding group 59. Where's the stroller? Oh, right this way. Did you use your wallet? I did. What do you think? You're fancy or something? BB8, is everyone assembled? We're all here, folks. Same colors. We're green. Green's up front. Green's up front. Green's up front. Green's up front. Let's go, let's go! Green on the left! This side! Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? So much plexiglass was added in here. Oh. Yeah! Engage repulsors and hold on, recruits. All ships launch. Stand back from those doors. Thank you. Three of you, you'll proceed straight down the hall to the next available lieutenant. Now, how sweet you don't mention your captain. Yes. <laughs> don't mention single your captain. Single file right over here. Now, only single file. Now. Thank you. Well, what if now did none of you understand? Oh, oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? First time riding with this plexiglass in front of us. I'm excited. Safety is easy oh. with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Think did the plexiglass make it any different? There's some glare. There's some glare. There's some glare. And a scratch. You see the scratch? Well, friends, I absolutely love Rise of the Resistance. I think you already know that. But now that they have the plexiglass, it gives them the 
capability to actually give out more boarding groups. A lot of people might be upset because they have that plexiglass and say it might actually like interfere with the experience. I would rather sacrifice that for more of a chance just to be able to ride the ride. Do you know what I mean? The plexiglass makes it possible that they can see both roles with separate parties. Like, you know what I mean? And uh, like, I'm willing to risk it. I'm willing to risk lack of an experience just to have the experience. Now that we actually escaped capture from the resistance, I think we might as well do the Tower of Terror. What, that tower up the way in Sunset Boulevard? Yeah, that one. I don't know, I don't think we should go in there, man. Oh, well, I do appreciate when a photo pass photographer actually goes out of her way to get good shots. Like, look at her dodging the sun. That is what I'm talking about. Only two more hours and these lights should be turning on. And let me tell you something, I am literally just waiting into that moment. We're just coming up with things to do as we walk around Hollywood Studios and just waiting for the glorious time where the music hits and the lights get bright. Wow. When the lights go down in the city, oh, I want to be there in Hollywood Studios. That was Come beautiful. Oh, oh, when the lights oh, go down oh, in the city. <laughs> uh, yes, that correct. And the sun comes down oh, on the bay. On the bay. <laughs> One of the things I'm pretty sure they're not going to be doing this year is the projections on the Hollywood Tower of Terror, or as they would do actually during the show, the Hollywood Toy Hotel, which I absolutely loved. But I don't know if they can do that and still be able to accommodate social distancing because people would gather here in like big crowds to watch it. So they're probably not going to do that, but I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they did since they are still going to do the projection show and the castle. But if they do end up doing it, I will be here. I will be here with bells on. Previously, the line used to be out front and actually went up into the Phantasmic area. But now, holy moly guys, this is such a long line. Wow. Like before I told you, I've actually waited in line where I come up to this point before and actually had a wrap around. So I think we're going to test it out. We're going to get in line right now. It is 4.33 and uh, right from this point, we're going to see how long it takes to actually get there. Oh look, Fantasmic. Oh, okay. Jackie's got a, a timer uh, running. Yeah, she's got an official timer. Now, yeah. she got in line like a couple minutes right before me, but yeah. we'll go off her timer. Yeah, because this is when we like got yep. in line. And that's a perfect 13 minutes so far. Oh, that's... Ooh. 13 minutes for the Tower of Terror, and we're here. See? That worked out perfectly. We are 25 minutes in, and we are at the main lobby of the Hollywood Hotel. We'll meet again, don't know how, don't know when. 30 minutes exactly, guys. How awesome is that? So They actually socially distant. Wow, I'm seeing so much yeah, more. They're filling up the seats. Last time I was in here, it was just like one party, one party, and one party. Yeah. And now they are filling it almost all the way up, maybe all the way up. And there are these plexiglass. Thank you. Make sure you know. One of my favorite little shops was down by Mama Melrose, and they actually sold all of these things down here. But now it looks like they moved them up here, and I'm so happy about that. This is something I would love to have in my house. Look at this. They call it the original toys, and it's done by Tim Rogerson. $795. That is breathtaking right there. Fancy parade crossing. 
right outside of the Tower of Terror, they have a Joffrey's coffee shop, and they got a little bit of seasonal beverages, including a peppermint mocha latte. Might as well enjoy a Christmas hot beverage for the first time this year. I'm very excited. Thank you. Oh boy, we got our Christmas drink, and now the lights are turning on. Can't really see them much. Yeah, this is great. Oh, it's gonna get a lot better though, guys. I know you can't see much, like I said, but the old bit's happening. Ooh, I'm so excited, guys. The tree is actually lit already. Oh boy, this is what I've been waiting for. Look at how beautiful this is. We definitely will come back once it gets a little bit darker, but just seeing it like now is still awesome. Do you see it like a little glimmer? Oh, look at it right there. Ah! So since it's starting to turn the golden hour, we decided to get in line for the photo pass. But let me tell you something, it's getting very busy. People are really lining up and I don't blame them because this is beautiful. Fun fact, I could probably sit here all day and just stare at this. Like I really could. Honestly, yeah, I'm no. not lying. And that is what I've been waiting for all night. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, friends, I think that's going to do it for me today. I feel like I'm going to be coming here a lot more often. I absolutely love Christmas time in the parks. What this is is just the beginning because this is actually my first Christmas park. I've been waiting to go to Magic Kingdom. I will be going there very soon, but this is just a great start to another wonderful season. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!